Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the forearm. Starting with the bones as usual. So you've got the radius on the medial aspect and then you've got the ulna on the lateral aspect. You've got two joints between both the bones. You've got the proximal and the distal radial ulnar joints. On top you've got the humerus, so you've got the humeral ulnar joint. And below these bones, you've got the wrist bones or the carpals, radiocarpal joints. We have around 18 muscles in the forearm, so you have to divide them into the anterior compartment and then the posterior compartment. When you flex, you have the anterior compartment muscles being involved in this motion. So you have the flexors in the anterior compartment. Then you extend your forearm, you have the posterior compartment muscles getting involved and hence you have the extensors in your posterior compartment. Starting with the anterior compartment, so you have three different layers. You've got the superficial, the intermediate and the deep. For the superficial, you've got four muscles. Remember that these muscles are to do with the bones involved. So you have the flexor carpi radialis, you have the flexor carpi ulnaris, then you have two P's, you have the palmaris longus and the pronator teres. For the intermediate layer, you have only one muscle. You have the flexor digitorum superficialis. So you have in the intermediate layer a muscle for all the fingers. In the deep layer, you have muscles for the fingers and then the thumb. So you've got the flexor pollicis longus and the flexor digitorum profundus. And you also have one pronator quadratus. For the posterior compartment, we only have two layers, the superficial and the deep. For the superficial, as I mentioned earlier, you have all the extensors. So here you have the extensors for the bones and for the fingers. So you've got the extensor carpi radialis, which has both longus and brevis. You have extensor carpi ulnaris. Then you move on to the fingers, the extensor digitorum and the extensor digiti minimi for the little finger. You have two extra muscles in this uh, layer. You have the brachioradialis and then the anconius, which is a very small muscle. For the deep layer, you have four muscles. You have two muscles for the thumb and one for the index finger. So abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis longus and brevis. Then you have for the index finger extensor indices. And the fourth muscle is the supinator. For innervation, the medial aspect of the arm is supplied by the median nerve from the brachial plexus, the lateral aspect by the ulnar nerve, and the posterior aspect by the radial nerve. The brachial artery supplies the forearm with the ulnar and the radial arteries. And for the veins, you have the ulnar and the radial vein draining into the basilic or the cephalic vein. Okay, let's go through what we learned today. So two bones, radius and ulna, two joints, proximal and distal radial ulna joints, muscles, two compartments, anterior and posterior. The anterior has got the flexors, you've got three layers, superficial, intermediate and deep. For the superficial, you've got four muscles, two flexors for the bones, so flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and two muscles with P, so the pronator teres, and the palmaris longus. The intermediate muscle has only one for the digits. So we've got the flexor digitorum superficialis. The deep layer has two flexors for the fingers. So we've got the flexor pollicis longus. You have the flexor digitorum profundus. Then you have the pronator quadratus. For the posterior compartment, you have the extensors and you have two layers, superficial and deep. For the superficial, you have six muscles, 
two for the bones so extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis and extensor carpi ulnaris then you have for the digits you have the extensor digitorum and you have the extensor digiti minimi then you have the brachioradialis and the anconius moving on to the deep layer you have four muscles the supinator two for the thumb so the extensor and the abductor pollicis longus extensor one also has a brevis then you have the extensor indice longus for the index finger innervation Median nerve for the medial aspect, ulnar nerve for the lateral aspect, and radial nerve for the posterior aspect. Blood supply, you have the ulnar and the radial arteries and veins. Artery comes from the brachial, veins drain into the cephalic and the basilic. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.